Hi there. Hello, Hoopers. I'm demonstrating a move that I will be giving you a tutorial on at the end. Yeah, so stick around and tune in for that. Hi, welcome to the Hoop Love Y'all Show. Oh, there's a little hummingbird that just popped outside of the window just to say hi. It was like, <laughs> anyway, I am Shay Ripperger of Hips of Hoopla. And I am here with the Hoop Love Y'all Show, and where I talk about health, humor, and hooping. On this particular episode, this is the second of a five series of Mindset. It is a Mindset series. It is going to be awesome. So we, uh, the first episode, we did Change Your Thoughts, Change Your World. And this one is Gigo. What is Gigo? Tune in and find out. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to be doing a little about a body and mind, uh, what GIGO means and how that affects, how that input matters. And then we're going to be doing a little laughter yoga exercise that is going to involve the brain. And then we're going to be doing that stir the pot move that I just demonstrated. Anyway, alrighty, so welcome. If you are new here, I am your host, Shay Ripperger of Hip the Hoopla. I have been in business for nine years. Uh, if you're watching this live, thank you so much. If you're watching the recording of this, awesome, thank you. And uh, thank you for dedicating and spending a few minutes with me. And uh, I'm going to go over this stuff really quick. And uh, I have, I'm listening to a little squirrel now just chat at me from outside. <laughs> so. <laughs> It's just wildlife city up here, up in the mountains of Idaho, of Boise, Idaho. Anyway, so I, so what I do with this show, besides uh, talking health, humor, hooping, I help wise-minded women get happy, healthy, and more holistic with humor, heart, and hooping. So, and uh, yeah. All right, so let's just dive in. Um, I'm dedicating this show to anybody that just... They're just distracted by squirrels outside. That has to do with the theme of the gigo. So, what is gigo? That's the drum roll. That's my attempt at a drum roll. Okay, what is gigo? That is garbage in, garbage out. It is a an old uh, computer terminology bit that uh, it was for programmers. Uh, so when they wrote code, you can't you can, if you put garbage in, you're going to get garbage out as a result. So what I want to talk about is how you can use this same concept for your body and your mind. So mostly we think about garbage in, garbage out in a literal sense for our body because that's an easy one to think about. So for instance, if you're uh, eating and intaking fried foods, lots of sugars, lots of caffeine, uh, fats, whatever the case, and unhealthy fats, things like that there's going to be health repercussions from that. Generally speaking, probably not good, right? I think we can all agree to that. So if you actually put in good things into your body, then you will get good things out of your body. You will have less brain fog. You will have uh, more energy. Uh, so less, le less, less lethargic and happier. So what do you put into your body? You put in good things like fresh foods, whole foods, organic foods if you can afford them, and uh, whenever possible make your better choices with your foods. So instead of doing a soda, just make one change. Instead of doing a soda, do water. You know, every, every opportunity that you have to input something into your body for physicality, for energy, for nutrients, think of, you know, the, there's an old saying of that you know, your body is a temple. So, you know, why would you put junk, you know, would you put garbage around the temple? Probably not. Uh, I suppose there's some people that might. But uh, let's just assume you, you had a, uh, a mom and a dad and, uh, you know, that, that, that somebody taught you that, you know, pack it in, pack it out. You know, what you bring to the table, you know, you want to you wanna be nice and, and play nice. So we want to put good things into our body. So one of the things to do, juicing, great idea. You, raw vegetables, raw fruits, that kind of thing is really good. So try and avoid the sugar aspects of it. And uh, yeah, put, put the raw juicing will help reset your body, will help get your back, body back on track. I am a prime example of this because this just happened to me yesterday. 
seriously yesterday and it's not like I don't know this already and it's not like I haven't been through this over and over and over again but I've had issues in the past with candida it has led to a, uh, a, a cancer uh, skin melanoma so you know I, I do take this stuff seriously now and I have for quite some time but I hadn't always taken it seriously and I still am one of those people you know because I'm human uh, that falls out of the pattern of what I know that I need to do for myself that is good putting in good stuff and so uh, you know yesterday I woke up and just face was all puffy itchy swelly all that stuff and since I had had extreme case of this before I had gone to the doctor and had gotten some steroid cream so I got on it yesterday and got it all cured up within a day which is actually fairly miraculous because now having been through it a few times I know the signs the prime the the the, the beginning signs to help turn it around so I realized and you know I was just standing there and like why is this happening again and then it came to me I got that flash it was like too much candy too much sweets lately and uh, that was totally the case and not enough greens so for me for my body uh, I know that I need to have in a lot of greens and that helps regulate my system so that I have good functioning no, more energy less brain fog um, all the kind of good things so you know it, it, is it hard to get bread out of the diet pasta out of the diet sugars out of the diet heck yes very hard <laughs> A lot of, a lot of effort. So it's constant effort. But yesterday, what I did is I got on juice. You know, I juiced. I uh, got some uh, juice in me during the day. Um, I had to use the steroid cream on my face and uh, no makeup and all that kind of good stuff and have like a fairly miserable morning. But uh, I was able to get on top of it right away. And so even though I had put in garbage in previously, I was trying to detoxify and get that garbage out quickly. So uh, I was quicker on this round of it than, than I have been in the past. So I was happy with the results. Uh, but I caused the whole thing to begin with because I put garbage in to begin with. So that therefore garbage came out. So, you know, that, that, that manifested in that way. So now um, I have the choice to, you know, each day, each moment we have the choice to do this. And that's just the body format of it. Now, what I really want to talk about on this is about the mind, because we, you, me, we all, we, we have these little voices going on, and a lot of times they're our own voices, they're our own self-criticisms, they're our own inputs that we put in, and this is part of what this series is about, about mindset. What you're putting into your brain is what's going to come out as you function. So we want to be at optimal peak levels so if you're filling your brain with a okay I, I'm sorry I have to I have to take out the news <laughs> if I give you one homework assignment it is to stop watching the news so much please 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 I, I stopped watching the news and it has helped tremendously and every once in a while when I when I need to watch the weather and then catch some of the rest of the news and I'm just like wow that it's, it's, it's mostly, I'd say 90%, if not 95%, okay, let's just say 90% garbage in, because a lot of it is just bad news. Uh, the weather, I'll consider decent news, because that's informative. <laughs> Sports, you can debate, but uh, the, the most of the news, every once in a while, they have a little, a little happy news story, or somebody that's doing good in the community. Great. Shows like that, I really like. When they do that on the news, they usually bury it within, you know, all the, the, you know, they also have a saying in the media, what bleeds, leads. If it, if it bleeds, it leads. So, you know, those stories, uh, that, that's a horrendous thing to think about and say, but that's how journalism and, and media works. You know, if it's exciting, if it's titillating, if it's just, you know, irks you and get your blood boiling they want to put that on first they don't want you to make you feel good because that doesn't bring in a lot of ratings <laughs> that doesn't bring in advertising dollars that doesn't make you stay till the end unfortunately we're kind of a twisted society and we like you know when we're driving by a car accident uh, uh the tendency the human tendency is to look and even though uh you know i try and try and keep going because I don't want to a start an accident B slow traffic down and see gawk it, it's just 
you know, so I just send blessings and I just know that the emergency people are doing their jobs, they're doing them as best as possible, and I'm sending blessings to everybody involved and, you know, moving along. So I'm trying not to send, you know, like the, ah! you know, you know, look at the, 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 the awful thing happen, you know, energy, but send blessings, all that kind of good stuff. So, you know, when I do occasionally watch the news, uh, I do the same thing now. I, I have a change of perspective so that I, it's not all doom and gloom and that I send energy and blessings to the people that are in those stories and uh, need that. So anyway, that's just my perspective of it. But again, garbage in, garbage out. So yeah, I'm calling the news. Most of it's garbage. I'm sorry to say, but you know, I mean, it's important. Some of it is important. A lot of it is I think we could, you know, we could have long debates about this, about, you know, what is truthful and what is not. Let's just suffice it to say that uh, there are perspectives out there. It may not be your perspective. It may be your perspective. But there's a lot of things that aren't necessarily true, and you don't necessarily need to keep inputting that in. So you don't need to start your day with the news. Uh, you don't need to end your day, especially ending your day with the news. I've talked about this before, but I'll mention this briefly again in case you haven't heard me talk about that that's okay you don't have to watch every single thing I have ever done but watching the news before bedtime is a great way to put garbage in your brain that will be processed in for a very long time so the most amount of hours that you probably your brain has to process anything during your day because during your actual day you're flit from different things you you focus you do you do some different projects whatever but you don't spend that much time on them in comparison with generally speaking the the amount of mo time that most people sleep so if you're pro you're putting in the news as your input right before bed that's not the best thing to do so in something else to do is to go get out a gratitude journal or just even go over your day think about all the things you did great during your day Thing, things rather than just processing all the things you have left to do just accomplishments what can you pat yourself on the back for what did you do good did you communicate with somebody did you you know do a great presentation did you help somebody whatever the case may be maybe you just you ate something good and you're really happy about you know making some good choices whatever that is put that input in so that you're going to put it instead of putting the garbage in we're putting in good input so input matters so putting in that good input and then overnight while you know or whenever you sleep <laughs> your brain is going to process positive information and so if you if you are able to get to that deep rem sleep your brain waves will be using that in the good brain chemistry so think about that and put that good information in. So putting in not garbage, but good foods in your body, good liquids, water, fresh, you know, all the fresh good stuff, and also good mental things. So that also includes the self-talk. Self-talk, self-talk, self-talk. Very important. So it rather than having this little chatty Cathy negative little, you know, you've seen the possibly the little angel is just like rah, 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 and doing all this. You know, to, to knock that off and listen to this other voice that is positive and, and encouraging. And, you know, maybe it's your voice. Maybe it's somebody else's voice. Maybe it's somebody that really likes you and ha has your best interest in mind. Make up a little character for this one and tell this one to be quiet sometimes. Just like, zip it. Zip it. Like, wah, 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 wah. zip it. And so then it has to just go, go away, go, go to the wayside. And then this one that's like, it's like come on in you can talk all you want so encourage this one encourage this positive one okay so <laughs> i like to get silly part of this show is humor is my approach i have a background as a humorist as a professional cartoonist and a humor writer for the denver post all kinds of good stuff as a columnist and, and all that so anyway i bring that in because that's how i roll so if you like that, keep watching. Okay, now we're going to do a little after yoga exercise on that note. And, uh, and then we're going to be stirring the pot. So not only are we mentally stirring, we're going to be doing all that too. Okay, so we're going to stir the pot with the brain activity right now. So let's, let's clap our hands together. Get this warmed up. Get some energy built up in our hands. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Feel that energy, okay? Feel that energy, feel that energy, feel that energy. And what you're going to do with this is we're going to release this energy and let that energy come into the head. And as you give yourself a little bit of a brain massage. So think of that electromagnetic energy, all of the mental energy that you're putting that good in. So we're going to take some deep breaths in here. So we're going to take an inhale in and then laugh it out. <laughs> as you massage your brain and your skull. Skull, skull, yes, yes, this part right here, okay? And then take a nice little deep breath in through the nose and then exhale it out, laughing it out. Ha, 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 Keep massaging the brain, massage the neck where all the spinal cord coming up gets us some of that blood flow in there. One more time, take a nice deep inhale in through the nose and then exhale it out through the mouth. Ha, 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 laughing it out. <laughs> and then at the end of laughter yoga exercise, Ah, doesn't that feel good? Do you, like your scalp? This is, you know, if nothing else. So I'm calling it a brain massage, but it's actually a scalp massage. But think of it, think of that energy going in and inputting in. And doesn't that feel good? So now what we're going to do with our hands is we're going to take, take them together. And we're going to do this twice. Do this with me. Very good, very good, yay. Very good, very good, yay. All right. So that's our laughter yoga exercise. Our brain massage. Happy brain massage. Yes. Okay. So now we're going to grab our hoop. So, if you have a loop, great. If you don't, do the dance move. So, or just get up and do some movement with me and uh, just try that. If you're riding in a car or just listening in, then um, just move around accordingly, uh, but safely. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is this is the move right here. Okay, so what this looks like, it is a horizontal isolation. So, an isolation that is a vertical isolation is here. So there's a difference between rotating the hoop on the hand. So this is rotating the hoop on the hand in a horizontal plane. And um, that is not what we're doing. We are actually moving around, moving the hand around the hoop as opposed to the hoop moving around the hand. So you're moving around. So this is what the isolation looks like up and vertical. And this is what it looks like horizontal. So we're moving the hand around, around, around. So some of the same things apply to this. Uh, so there is a little bit of a science concept going on here and it is centrifugal force because you're taking this on a horizontal plane. It's a little different than when you're doing this on a vertical plane and you can um, do it in a slightly different way. So I'm just gonna explain it in a slightly different way so you can hopefully get the concept of it. Okay, so what we're doing Remember those amusement park rides when you went into, I don't know if you ever did this one, but there's a big circle and you go into this circle thing and it's usually metal and you go and you stand, you stand your back against the edge and then this circle, so there's a bunch of people standing all around this circle and then they get this thing spinning, spinning, spinning and then what happens is centrifugal force presses you against the wall. So it's that, that, that force of the rotation that you are spinning at the same rate of the object that is spinning. So that's what we're doing with our hand. So we're, we're at that, that's how you, and then on that ride, they drop the bottom out. So the thing that you, the floor that you previously had your feet on because you're spinning so fast and you have that centrifugal force, that G, almost G-force going, and you're pinned up against the wall and then the bottom drops out and you do not slide down because you're pinned to the wall with that centrifugal force. Okay, so what we're doing with that is that same thing here. So I'm going to be moving, so as part of this is the speed at which you rotate your hand around the hoop. And what I want you to try and think of doing is moving your hand, this, this move, most people call this the stir the pot move. So your hand is doing this. It's, you wanna have it nice and long and wide. So bend over slightly, and this is going to need to be about the size of your hoop. So if you have a really gigantic hoop, this is going to be a little, uh, probably a lot harder to do. So if you can, try and grab a little bit smaller hoop. I'm using a fairly small hoop because of the, the space that I'm working in right here, and I need to have a little bit of rotational space as well, so I'm using a little bit of a smaller hoop. But use something that is, you know, up maybe about up to your belly button. Try not to go too much bigger unless you're going to be really letting this space be clear 
it, if you have enough space to lean over. So you may be leaned over further if you have a larger hoop, and if you have a smaller hoop, you don't necessarily have to lean over quite as far. But what you're going to be doing is moving the hand around the hoop. So I'm re-gripping at around the same place, but I'm rotating, part of this is rotating around the hand. So the same principles as an isolation, a one-handed isolation will be uh, happening here. So I'm starting the hoop at the side, I'm rotating around, and then there's a part that I have to release and go up and over. So I'm traveling around the, the round part of the hoop, the path of the hoop, so I'm not letting the hoop just rotate on my hand. This is a very different move. So I'm rotating my hand around the hoop. So there's a part where I'm grabbing, I'm grabbing, I'm grabbing, and I'm, so there's a grip here, and there's a release. Grip, release, grip, release, grip, release. Same thing when you go horizontal. You have the grip, you start this with a grip, release. Grip, release, release, release. And then, you, so you can start this with a grip and a release, but then when you start getting the, the stir the pot, you can actually keep this with an open hand and try to have your arm nice and long and extended. So you might want to have this, and the object is to have this as horizontal as possible. At first it's gonna go really wobbly and it's gonna almost look like it's coining out like that. So you want to try and get that speed up <laughs> so that it's as horizontal as possible. So that's what you're going for. And again, what you're going for and what you get, that may be two different things. That's okay. Just try it anyway. So, and then whatever you do on one side, same thing on the other side. I don't work my left as much, but I need to. There we go. And whatever you do in one direction, you can do in the other direction as well. So it doesn't mean you have to go in one direction. There we go. <laughs> so try both hands, both directions. So yeah, so that is the stir the pot move. Yeah, nice and, you know, it's fairly easy, but it's going to take some practice time. So just give yourself some practice time. It's going to be okay on that. Alrighty. So... Hopefully that I've covered some really cool things that you've learned from today and uh, have enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed this. So let's give you a quick nutshell recap really quick. So we talked about, this is the Gigo episode, the garbage in versus garbage out. So what you put in is important to what is going out as well. So putting in good food, putting in good mental messages, mental energy, uh, the, you know, getting rid of the news, putting in good things, positive things, gratitude things, uh, good good voices as opposed to the bad voices. Shut those bad voices up and listen to the good voices and let those in. So those are the little voices in your head. <laughs> okay. And then we did the laughter yoga brain massage, the inhale in, and then the laugh out after we, we gathered some energy doing that and, and massaged in. And then we did the stir the pot exercise. Uh, hoop move so which was the centrifugal force going like so which is basically a horizontal isolation so vertical isolation horizontal isolation so think of your arm as being nice and long and one grip point and then it's going to roll over the hand as you regrip regrip and try and keep this as horizontal to the ground as possible there nutshell recap fascinating right okay so i really appreciate you being here watching if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up and sharing is caring so if you know somebody that might like a boost and might like some energy and might enjoy some of these ideas and learning how to hoop, send them my way. So send them this video to begin with. And then uh, there's even a new monthly Hip to Hoopla membership where we're doing, it's, it's really cool. So uh, I've got a lot of people involved in that now and it's really, I think everybody's really digging it. So it's a one monthly price and you get a whole bunch of things. So there's a class every week and there's bonus things that go along with it as well. So contact me for that if you're interested in that. And uh, so thanks so much for watching, for being here. I really appreciate it. So I will see you on the next episode, which 
is going with this mindset series. So we've covered one, two, and then the next one is the third up. And I'm going to give you a little tease on that. Why you shouldn't use the word can't. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and what you can say instead. All right, so we're going to talk about that one on the next episode, and there's some really good things, and we're going we're gonna to break some things, okay? We're going to break. Yeah, all right. So <laughs> thanks for watching. I will see you on the next episode, so rock out, peace out. Bye, everybody.